So I finished my first movie, and I couldn't believe how easy it was. It was almost effortless. So we started to head out to the deck, and I looked over my shoulder, and I said, whoa, there's a blue orb on the monitor. And he came back in, and he looked, and he said, Patty, that monitor's unplugged from the wall. And I looked at the blue orb, and I said, that's not even an orb in the movie. And all of a sudden, the hair went up on my arms, goosebumps, chills. I was like, oh my God, I feel like I'm in a crop circle. And he could see the hair standing up on my arms and the goosebumps, and I said, they're in the house. And that was the first time I realized that they were with me. It was very, very blatant that it was something from another world that was in the house. And the poor editor looked at me and he goes, you look weird. And I said, uh-huh, I feel weird. Turn the gear back on. When anyone sees or feels or hears a communication coming from another dimension, quite often there will be some ball of light that accompanies that. You may notice it, you may not. Um, very often, a blue ball of light actually indicates uh, it, that truth, that there's a truth being spoken or being worked with or being dealt with or being communicated. I said, show me the Oliver's Castle footage where two balls of light lay a crop circle down in seconds. Show it to me again. He said, why? I said, I don't know, just do it. So he lit it up and I watched it and I said, reverse it. He said, why? I said, I don't know, just do it. So he reversed it, we watched it. The chills came back and I said, slow it down. He said, how slow? I said, I don't know, 30%. And we both looked at each other like, where did that number come from? Why did I say that? I said, I don't know, just do it. When I first looked at this picture, I did not know anything about Oliver's Castle. I just saw two balls of plasma commun communicating with one another. And it was, it was just that simple. They are the, um, you know, the balls of plasma or the, the light at the bottom of those vortexes, vortices, that are creating the, the, the crop circle. When Patty reversed it or slowed it down, she actually revealed the communication, which is instantaneous. When you have plasma, plasma communicates almost instantly. It travels immediately everywhere. And that's just one of the features of plasma. So what you're seeing here is, is basically Oliver's castle is being laid down and that pattern that showed up is a result of that black and white bar between those two plasma balls. That contains the pattern. They're telling one another what they're doing, what each one is doing. Well, I feel really lucky that I've been able to have all this equipment at my disposal for over 20 years now to investigate pictures about claims of the paranormal. One of the other interesting uh, photographic analysis cases that I worked on was in 1996 was the Oliver's Castle situation um, where a group of people were manning cameras on hilltops and one particular controversial person videotaped a crop circle being formed by orbs of light. Following day for reasons that were important to him. Um, he passed on the tape to other people and then vanished. And the tape became controversial because of the way he had handled it. But 
in truth, there was a crop circle there, literally the same morning as when he showed up with the videotape. And I analyzed that videotape. And I found it to be quite astounding that the property of the, of the lights, the orbs, once again, similar, if not identical, to what we found in the Phoenix lights a year later. But here we have these three lights flying over a field that it's not just forming a crop circle and analyzing it frame by frame. There are ripples that are moving out like throwing a rock in a pond. As the ripples are turning and develop spokes that are moving backwards like a wagon wheel. You know, you look at a covered wagon and it's going forward but the wheels start to look like they're going backwards. It's ripples going outward as there's spokes that are turning backwards and forwards and then quickly moves back in and whoosh, there's the pattern. The computer knows and I know, I know what's true. I know that this is not something that was faked. It was not something that was a mistake. It's not something that's an accident. It's something really incredible.